What's up guys, this is Jason from the Jason and Jabari Gaming and today we have Battlegrounds Rewards. So, um, yeah, um, as many of you well know, I'm currently not playing uh, competitively like I was in the tournaments and pushing high tier Battlegrounds as far as placement. Now that's always subject to change, so don't get me wrong, it's just currently I'm not interested in doing that right now. So when that time comes to where I feel the need or want or drive to do that, then I'll do so. But currently, I've been taking it easy on Battlegrounds. Um, it's not to say that I don't enjoy the game mode, because I very much do. It's just probably not to the extent as I used to at this particular time uh so this season for me was uh, a light season i didn't particularly enjoy the metas as much but uh yeah it was it was just a light season i use mainly energy uh and i finished 7000 what is that 7629th uh as far as uh, using energy is concerned i barely use any elders marks i might use a few more um next season uh and i'm completely fine with this i mean the rewards i got was pretty decent um uh, the seven star shards are definitely going to help because with my math uh, we're going to open up a seven star and we're going to open up a six star relic um but more about that later so um yeah the, the rewards for next season are supposed to be substantially greater so there's that uh as far as my individual placement i finished celestial six uh, actually, with one more win, I would have finished Celestial 5, but normally what happens, in my experience, guys, pushing for the top 100, um, you have to stay winning, and you have to at least win one more, generally, uh, every single day. And that's easier said than done, because you can lose easily, especially with this meta. Um, and then you have to add on one to however many you've lost in order to, uh, you know, secure your placement for just maybe that day or so. And uh, I made it to Celestial 5 my last day I streamed and that was the last time I played. Prior to that, it I hadn't played in five days and I was just chilling in Celestial 6. Uh, and that's what I mean by just taking it easy, guys. I'm just, you know, having fun. And that's important because if you're not, then in my experience, You'll experience burnout a lot faster and then you'll experience resentment as well and just uh overall this uh satisfaction or you know being dissatisfied excuse me and uh yeah so uh 109 uh literally one more win i would have been in celestial 5 and held on but uh that's okay uh we got some great rewards here and like i said this will get us enough to open a seven star and a six star relic so very happy with that especially for the amount of effort that was put into it and then uh dsvg uh we, we finished 81st which you know is the lowest that i finished with them for battlegrounds and that's fine um i don't necessarily think dsvg is a battlegrounds pushing alliance like we push minimals but and uh, you know as as a whole I think we're not even at a 50-50 split. By the numbers, it looks like more uh, of us than not don't care to push Battlegrounds. And that's completely fine. Um, my numbers are in the middle. <laughs> I mean, because I, you know, I, I play when I feel like it, but I make sure I do my minimals. And that's pretty much what it is. So um, I'm not a heavy contributor to our score by any means. Um, I'm also not, you know, not at the bottom, but I'm somewhere, somewhere in the middle and that's fine for me. All right. So what I'll have to do in order to ensure we get our six star relic is I'll need to buy um, some six star uh, relic shards, three to be exact. Uh, boom. There we go. Um, I think that's the only thing I need out of here currently. Uh, I love how they did the overhaul, um, but I guess I'll go ahead and pick up all these uh, tier six and tier three since I didn't earlier. 
uh, but uh, yeah, so I ended up doing that. Um, and let's go ahead and head over. And uh, first, we're gonna open up the six star relic. I have currently three, two of which are duped. So I would prefer a new champion. I don't want to dupe the one <laughs> that is not duped. I would prefer a new champion. Anything new here. Um, if I have to, I don't know, choose, I would say number one would be Ant-Man. Uh, I would love to get that. Number two, probably Spider-Man 2099. Uh, since we're having the decay tactic coming up and he helps uh, a lot of the Spider-Verse champions. Um, the Ghost Rider would be cool. Juggernaut would be pretty good. Um, Hulk, you know, stuff like that. Um, okay, slowing down, and we get uh, Hulkbuster. Awesome, that's new. Next to Sentinel, who was duped, so, and he's on my Kang as well, so I definitely didn't want to do that, but uh, Hulkbuster, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and put that on my uh, new rank 5 tech champion that you guys will see in um, the war video that I'm going to do for you guys that should be coming out. Uh, tomorrow the next day I have someone flying in so I'll be you know seeing seeing them and uh, spending time with them but I'll try to do a quick war video because it's only three fights plus the rank up so we'll, we'll do it like that um out of this seven star man I'm I'm really hoping for a, a good dupe or a new champion I would love to do my son spot spider Gwen uh storm x would be awesome sasquatch please um yeah I, I don't know man i mean atuma for the first time would be great tear baby for the first time core dupe okay so we got a dupe uh first time dupe on war machine um i am a fan of war machine i just don't know if i was looking for him right now he does help in war if i wanted to take him because he would help kang immensely since kang is metal or hashtag metal so yeah it's not the worst pool in the world um let's check out what he actually does i think it's like empty the clip or something like that um i'm not entirely sure maybe i should just go to seven stars now that's probably the wrong thing uh yeah just go to overall seven stars i think and we'll look him up like that okay there he is all right so yeah man um war machine dude uh there he is in all his glory uh he helped out with the prowess uh so he was very effective this meta that i did not use very often but um so yeah empty the clip he gets some fairies and he gets some rented uh, regen um yeah that's helpful that's helpful uh, those numbers are in green, so I would like to think that um, those numbers go up with his signature uh, level um, going up. I hope to not dupe him anytime soon. I don't think that was the worst pool in the world, and he might be useful. I don't think I'm going to take him to rank 2 anytime soon. I'm thinking about other tech champions at the moment, but he's not bad to have. He's pretty, he's pretty solid. And as far as uh, Hulkbuster is concerned, let's go to him. And uh, yeah, man, let's take a let's take a look at him. I think he works with champions that do shock damage. So um, I know there's there's Guardian. Um, I know there's uh, Warlock. I know there's Nimrod. Um, Hulkbuster, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, man, we're gonna choose. Uh, we're going to choose a tech champion that that will get that benefit from him. But I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, some of these, um, I guess, uh, abilities, uh, for lack of better terms, and uh, apply them. Um, I really do enjoy the aspect of the six star relics that you get three options. Um, I think the five and four star you only get two and i could be wrong about the four star i'm not even sure um you might only get one but uh that is pretty cool i'm still not into relics like that honestly 
Um, it does bring an interesting uh, dynamic to the game, and I am glad that they have put them uh, in war since they are a, new, a, a you know addition to the game because that definitely gives you openings now, uh, and I appreciate that. But as far as uh, my interest in them, it's still it's still the same. Um, it, I don't I don't really care about them like that. Not yet, and uh, I don't know if I will ever. But it is what it is. So I am glad that I got a new one. Um, so you guys will see who I'll put on him soon in my next war video. But uh, like and subscribe, help us grow, guys. We're almost at fourteen hundred, and it's all thanks to you. Uh, until the next one, peace.